Okay, if you're a small business, and I agree 100% with what you said, and I'm actually on a number of those advisory boards to help people out. Um, if you're a small business and you don't know anybody or you don't have access to an advisory board, where do you find those people? Look, we're going to be in a situation where if you're an established small business that you have contacts with some people, right? If you look at like Porter's Five Forces, you've got your suppliers, your customers, your competition. And I think at a time like this, you can talk to all of those people because they already exist in your ecosystem by virtue of the fact that you have a business. Now, it's if you have an absolute shortage of those people that you can connect with uh, through online tools or in person, then it's about what is your content diet? What are you feeding yourself? There is a drastic difference between taking your news from Fox News and CNN than there is watching videos of, you know, Stephen Ross or Gary Vaynerchuk or Seth Godin. So if you don't have the option of actually like having two-way kind of full duplex dialogue with somebody, mm. then it's immediately important that you decide, okay, well, what's gonna be in my mental diet? What am I gonna feed myself at this time? Because mindset is gonna be so important right now, especially as people that pay salary, we have to be responsible for those people. I tell my team like this all the time, especially when, you know, sometimes you've got younger people in the team and they start freaking out and they start getting stressed. I say, you've got to understand that we are almost like we are collectively, as an organization, a tightrope walker, right? So me as the CEO, I'm the feet. Mm -hmm. It's my job to take step by step, and there's little tremors, and I feel those tremors. But by the time you go up the body and you look at the full pole that I'm holding, mm -hmm. on either side of the pole where the ball is, you see that move a lot. And that's the lower down people in your organization, the less skilled, the less calm, the people that have not got the same capacity, but it's all coming from the same rope. That rope is the market. That rope is your competition. That rope is the threat of new entrants, new products. And as the CEO, your job is still to feel those tremors and have very small movements.